artist and environmentalist. Cyrus Kabiru is both. Growing up on the mean streets of Nairobi's Kibera slum, he discovered something beautiful in the middle of all the squalor. Uh, most of the gangsters, they used to come and chill in my studio and relax and at the end you'll get, they're changing because of my work. They're changing, my work is changing them. Cyrus's passion for eyewear began when he was a boy. Now he creates beauty out of trash. Everything deserves a second chance in life, even junk, Cyrus says. Spending more time at rubbish dumps hunting for materials than at school didn't go down well anywhere. In Kenya, if you, if you, if you don't perform well in high school or in any school, people treat you like you're a loser. They're making us to hate our life, like, they're not encouraging us, like, in our future. An artist community in Nairobi has been Cyrus Kabiru's home for a while. Here he's made friends like fellow artist Meshak Oyero, who accept him the way he is. For the better part, he is easygoing. But there's like an element of difficulty in him. He is a funny character. Very funny indeed. He can make you laugh when you don't want to laugh. And you can laugh in, when it's not mostly appropriate to him. Yeah, that's the kind of person he is. Cyrus is also a serious businessman. His unique artworks become hugely popular. They can fetch up to $1,000 a piece on the art market. That's the thing I'm trying to fight with. Like, I want you to buy my work because you like it. I don't want you to buy my work because you, you want to help me. So that's why I'm saying, like, we are too much poverty, giving, selling poverty than creativity. Electronic refuse and other recycled material takes on a new life in Cyrus's work. Now he hopes negotiators at the Paris Climate Talks will hear his powerful environmental message and experience it firsthand. There's a climate change uh, conference in Paris this year. And uh, I was selected. They're doing an exhibition of one artist, one country, one artwork. So I've been selected this year to be, to represent Kenya. Cyrus is convinced his funky eye art will make a splash at the climate summit. Not bad for a boy from Kibera slum who resisted societal pressure and only did what he enjoyed most.